what goes on people welcome to den night uh, and today we're going to be reviewing the dc collectibles red hood statue now if you're a long time viewer as you can see i kind of changed the studio up a little bit i'm going to call this studio 1.5 because um, i have a new plan coming but i'm not quite ready yet but i needed to make the studio a little nicer in the meantime so this is kind of like the transitionary period i know i don't like the backdrop with the lines but i'll try to fix that in studio 2.0 anyway that's not what you're here for so this isn't going to be an unboxing because this was actually an ebay find from many years ago kind of like probably right around the time the arkham knight video game came out and this was actually, I actually ended up getting this for free because the seller I got it from did not package it well at all and it came completely busted up in many, many pieces. And he refunded me and I was able to, with some work, fix it up. And to be honest, I don't even remember where it was broken at. I think I did a pretty good job. I think it was the hands mostly. I don't really remember. I just remember it was a mess. I basically just got a box of pieces of a statue. But nothing a little glue can't solve and some patience. So this will be a shorter video, of course, but we'll take a quick look. Let's just take them off the base. It'll be easier. Obviously, right up front, the base is the Bat logo. Um, as is the norm for DC collectibles, everything's pretty detailed and quality. I really wish they would have kept doing things, but McFarlane, fortunately or unfortunately, does most of the stuff now. I think all his stuff's either hit or miss, but really can't argue with the price either. But I do miss DC collectibles a lot. Anyway... You can see a lot of detail on the jacket. You got a little tear on the back there. Great detail on everything. Uh, even the magazines in his belt. You can see they went to the detail painting the bullets on the top to show they're loaded. Just stitched up stuff everywhere in his costume, uniform, whatever you want to call it. Good detail on his handguns. You know, got different colors going on. It's just not a solid painted thing, which I appreciate. Every little bit of detail helps. Uh, throw the focus. Yeah, even detail on the buckles and his boots. I guess those would be shin guards. Yeah, because <clears throat> his boots actually tucked under his pants, so that's just a shin guard. Now that, I'm not sure if that was a break that I glued or if it was supposed to look like that. I think that's, yeah, I think I glued that. Yeah, they're both like that. That was something I glued. So there's some, there's some real life, my repair. Not the best job, but you gotta get real close to notice it. So those were some of the many pieces. I love the Arkham Knight style Red Hood thing too. I think it's really cool that it's more similar to the, the, what would you call that? The, the mob Red Hood thing, like the dome Red Hood thing, if you know what I'm talking about, where you can't even see the face at all, or like a shape of a face. You don't know where the eyes are is what I'm trying to get at. I like that. And I like that they literally put a red hood over it too. The game one, not the military suit, but this this version of Red Hood in the game has really always been one of my favorite versions of Red Hood. But 
as you can see overall great quality great paint app a lot of sculpting a lot of detail let's get him back of course he has the uh it's not magnetic but he has the pins to keep them aligned in the base uh, some people occasionally ask for dimensions so I'll at least put the height so he comes out just under 11 inches probably about 10 and a half to the top of his hood from the base so Pretty good size and quality, especially for in my case that it was free, but sometimes you get that lucky or unlucky. Anyway, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video. So, I guess let's get him in the showcase. And here we got him in the showcase next to Flashpoint Batman. Uh, not sure if he's going to be a stay in the case figure or not, but... For now, there's plenty of room, so it'll be fine in here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those YouTube things, share this with other collectors, and as always, keep collecting. Bye.